name is Emilio Guat, Product Training Manager with Keyscan Access Control Systems. Today we will be discussing proximity and contactless smart card technologies in physical access control. These are the two primary technologies being used today. Standard proximity technology cards and readers have been in the market for many years and have proven to be the most widely used and accepted technology in physical access control. Proximity cards and readers use what is commonly referred to as the Wigan format. Wigan is the method of communication used by the physical access control devices. This allows the card reader to read the card information for verification purposes to the access control panel and then determine whether that credential will be allowed access or not. Access control credentials can be formatted in many different ways, varying by manufacturer. The most common format is the standard 26-bit Wigan format, which is an open format. Almost all access control systems accept the standard 26-bit Wigan format. 26-bit Wigan format provides over 16,700,000 card numbers without duplication. This is obtained by generating 255 possible facility codes from values of 1 to 255 and a maximum number of cards from 65,535 card numbers from values of 1 to 65,535. Although a large range of card numbers are available in the standard 26-bit format, this does not restrict duplication of cards and numbers, and if you take into consideration the number of cards in this format that would have been sold to date, this number would be much larger than those available in this bit structure. This creates the possibility of duplicate 26-bit cards in general circulation, resulting in lower security for the customer site. Keyscan, for example, offers a high security 36-bit Keyscan format that provides a no card number duplication guarantee and eliminates the need for the end user or dealer customer to track or know all existing card numbers in their access control system. This in turn makes management and reordering of cards a trouble-free process, as well as provide peace of mind that those card numbers purchased will never be duplicated. Standard proximity cards and readers utilize 125 kilohertz frequency to transmit card information from the credential to the reader. This information is read by the reader when the credential is brought within the reader's electromagnetic field. This will energize the credential as it is presented by the card holder and allow the reader to capture the card number of the card. The card number read by the card reader is read in the open without any level of security or encryption where sniffing devices can be used to duplicate cards. Card sniffing devices can be easily obtained, making card duplication very easy for anyone without any technical knowledge or know-how. Contactless smart card technology works following the same principles as the proximity cards and readers, with the exception that it utilizes a higher frequency of 13.56 MHz to transmit information from the credentials to the reader. The 13.56 MHz frequency provides more bandwidth to support enhanced security and data encryption. With this technology, the card data will not be transmitted in the open, reducing the vulnerability of card data duplication and enhance the ability to secure information stored in the card's memory with sophisticated encrypted algorithms. Contactless markup technology is configured to use the same formatting as proximity cards. The major advantage smart cards and readers have in physical access control is that the card and reader transaction is an encrypted transaction. The encryption is a form of authentication between card and reader to secure the transaction between the two devices. This limits the possibility of the card being sniffed as the process we described earlier and allowing the credential from being duplicated. By embedding a series of challenge and response codes through sophisticated algorithms in the contactless smart card, it allows the card and reader to be able to identify each other and transfer the card data in a secure encrypted format. If this information is matched, the card identification number is transmitted from the card reader via Wigan data format to the access control panel. Because smart cards have built-in memory, they can also be utilized for applications other than physical access control. These applications can range from storage of biometric templates like a fingerprint, time and attendance information, and cashless vending in a, comp in a college campus environment. These applications leverage the additional memory locations available on most contactless smart cards. Until recently, proximity technology held a significant cost advantage over contactless smart cards. That has now shifted. 
Customers can now take advantage of higher security credentials based upon contactless smart card technology for a marginal increase over less secure 125 kilohertz proximity technology. Even if a customer will only use smart cards for purposes of physical access control, they will obtain higher credential security for roughly the same cost. You may recall when barcodes and magnetic stripes were used for physical access control and consider how easy it is to photocopy a barcode or duplicate a magnetic stripe card. This is true when one compares proximity to contactless smart cards. When considering access control, one should consider the security of the credential. This is often overlooked.